Case Big Weather Port Action. 21 Celsius, that's about 70, 75 Fahrenheit. Sunny. And any time is clean time. Those are a couple of fatty, fatty 2x4s. Mind these posters in my living room. Another Oh, Reggie Egg Black Maroos here. Was away for a couple of weeks, did lots of digging, and here's what one of the items I got was uh, this. They talk about the Canadian national anthem. Well, it's called the Hockey Song by Stop and Tom, but. We are the Hanson Brothers, all rise for the Canadian national anthem. Bye, 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 bye. One, two, three, four. That's a punk rock version instead of the country version. But yeah, every Canadian guy knows the hockey song. But anyway, um, but this is the band No Means Don't No. Concert in, uh, both in London. But No Means No, but then they have the, ha they call the Hanson Brothers. They switched to more Ramonesy style. I don't really care for No Means No. It's not my style. But more severe hard rock, or punk. But anyway, I gotta hurry up here. I'm just going to whip through these. Here's some later Pat Travers era stuff. And here's a power trio. This, I love that album. It's only the top, who cares? It's only at the bottom too. I like the rockers on this album. It's quite, really like some of them. I haven't heard this Res Band album. I've only heard their early stuff. And their 80s, early 80s stuff. But uh, no idea how this will sound. This one I've heard bits of, uh, it's on YouTube, concert, res, I think it's 20th anniversary live or something. So live, I think it's a double live album too. Yeah, double live res band, and I saw them live back before this. <laughs> ah, they're great live. Sex Pistols from a prison. <laughs> what kind of crowd reaction they got. Um, Song Triumph Rock Rock and Roll Machine, the title track is a 10 out of 10, easy. Um, Little Texas Shaker is really good. This might be a remaster. Triumph Mint Series. Oh, okay, maybe this is a remastered deal. Uh, it doesn't tell me there, but anyway. Oh, I picked this up because it was really, really, really super cheap. So I can't remember, just like a buck or two. So I thought, oh, it was good to have a backup copy of that. This is just some power punk, I guess, if you want to call it that. Just fun girl, summertime, kind of punk rock, but kind of a happy, fun stuff. This is a great album. I don't like all the songs on here. Like Plain Jane, I hate. Uh, maybe Lover Money isn't so great, but when you get... I don't like I've done anything, everything for you either, but Red, Rock and Roll Weekend, Make It Last, Reckless, Turn Up the Music, Bad Motor Scooter. Was, yeah, and Space Station number five. Yeah, so there's some great songs on that album. That's a must have. I uh, just found this. I think I gave Darcy a Six Strings my, Nine Lives, my copy of this, so I just happened to find this used, so I picked it up again. First Molly Hatchet, Essential. More Pat Travers, PT Power Trio 2. Um, Black Knight, woo, and Rock the Nation. Keep Yourself Alive, woo. If those are cover versions, I'll play this on uh, What's Spinning, because yeah, if they do Black Knight, that'd be great. Uh, Daggers are more just sort of a small club band. R-A-W-K, rock and roll, like just really simple, fun stuff. Same with these guys. I love this album. Anytime I find this used, I'll buy it because I want to always make sure I have a copy that works on this thing because I love this album. Well, after winning all those gold medals. And another, you can tell what they look like, what they sound like. So, <laughs> Canadian. 
And speaking of Montrose, here's some solo stuff from Ronnie Montrose. I'm expecting to not like this at all, but because I read his book and stuff, and he moved away from, he didn't want to just be a one-trick pony like the first Montrose album. I wanted him to be a one-trick pony, so I, I'm hoping that doesn't just go too spacey or mellow, but more Pat Travers, blues tracks, oh, Purple Haze, Whip and Post, oh, that'd be interesting. Uh, love the Allman Brothers, Whip and Post. Triumph Live at the King Biscuit Flower Hour. It was cool, I ran into a guy on the trip uh, who was wearing a Triumph shirt. I think I might have even been with Darcy at the time when we talked uh, rock. Yeah, it was. Um, yeah, live triumphs, good triumph. I don't know how many hits she had. It's funny they say greatest hits live, but. Um, I was just wondering if there's any runaway songs on there, but. I'll always buy these guys when I find them in a used uh, bin somewhere, out of print, but I just love this end end, just good, kind of rock and punk rock, but kind of a thinking man's punk rock. I love this album, live at the US Festival, this is on YouTube as well, but it's this, I think the CD and DVD version, yeah, but the yeah, sound quality on this is fantastic, the show's great, it's outdoors on a nice boiling hot day. And I always want a backup copy of this. Probably my most important album out of all the ones I'm showing. Yeah, here's Blackmore. That's how you play guitar. Gotta have stage theatrics or there's, is it just watch the CD play? Ah, uh, it's just some punk rock. Similar, I think, to what we're hearing right now. Vapids and Riptide, same kind of idea. Let's just find out some summertime rock like that. Um, this I paid like 20 bucks, but there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven Y&T albums on this compilation. So uh, that's it, the full albums. <laughs> and one of them's live, like if it didn't have the live, I might not have bought it. It's four discs live on the right on the Friday rock show. So. I don't know, I've heard the odd Y&T song and didn't mind it, but now I finally find out about Y&T. This, I assume, is a bootleg, Dallas, Texas, 84. Boy, just after the 83 Live at the U.S. Festival. <laughs> um, they were known for their, and they have a song called Blinding Light Show. So yeah, they're one of the early bands that had a really great light show. And some rock and roll hair from Triumph there. Uh, I don't know. Thin Lizzy breaking out in Chicago. This was good. This was raw. Like uh, Suicide's on there, which is great. And uh, The Rocker, so Warrior, Emerald, so... It's kind of like hearing uh, Live and Dangerous, but just a little earlier. Um, Riviera, Riviera radio broadcast, I don't know. But it was a great listen. And of course, when you've got ACDC, I think it's the Highway to Heck tour, but live ACDC. And DVD action. I wasn't sure if I had this or not. I couldn't remember at the store, so it was only a couple of bucks, so I thought I'd better grab it. And it does have Beyond the Realms of Death. But it's, uh, oh, it is with Halford. Okay, I assumed it was with uh, Ripper Owens, but no, it might be when they just reunited. Oh, Judas Rising, Touch of Evil. Yeah, so, uh, I was hoping to hear this on my way home from the trip, but I heard other stuff instead. But uh, <laughs> book action, speaking of Gatto. See, there's a great concert picture if you ever saw one. That's the stuff I love seeing when I go see a band. But this is a thick book, like um, how many pages? Well, about 360. 
But yeah, Canadian guy band that was around in the set late 70s and early mid 70s, and 80s. So, uh, oh boy, here's one for the ladies. <laughs> but yeah, you, well, third printing it says. Well, maybe they added some extra junk. But anyway, be fun to hear tales of the road driving in the snow and and then I'm sure there's a lot of great stories with this. Um, oh, the Runaways in theaters. So she must have wrote this. The book that inspired the movie, The Runaways, and forwarded by Joan Jett. So that's kind of neat. Um, yeah, memoir of a runaway. Anyway, shirt action. You're ready for ZZ Top. You got it. The fantastic Z Z Top. That's the intro off of Fandango, one of the best live albums in rock history. Ah, uh, these Kiss shorts are kind of cool. Never see any. Whoops, upside down. But uh, it's gonna be 19 today Celsius. That's about 70 Fahrenheit. But the leaves are turning, and I saw a Canada goose flying south yesterday. So the snow's coming. <laughs> Anyway, cool scorpion shirt. And from the same place I bought the other Kiss thing, but uh, that's cool having the Canadian flag, or well, sort of looks like a Canadian flag. And ACDC. Oh gee whiz, I didn't even realize it was a two-sided. It was cheap enough that I thought, oh, that's pretty cool having Angus on there. And, Oh, it's okay. It's for power up then. Okay, that's for the new album, which I haven't heard yet. But I talked to a girl in a record store, the record store that I featured on my previous video, and she liked the album. And she was, no, she, she knows her rock. So, but I haven't heard the whole thing. I've only heard the odd song. And another Scorpions cool shirt. Wish it was a concert picture, but still, love their logo. Not my favorite logo of all time, but it's still really good. And I wonder if it has the... I saw them on this tour. I'm sure it's the same shirt I used to have, so I was glad to find it again. BTO, but it's no... They just switched it to Backman and Turner. The two voices of BTO. That's cool, they have the songs on there. Sledgehammer and not, not fragile, fragile. Four wheel drives a ten out of ten. And I already had this shirt, but I found it used. Or I don't know if this was used. This was new, but it was a good price. But uh, mine's too small now. So so glad to find this at a size that I could fit. <laughs> so I love that emblem. Love how it looks. Seen them live a number of times. And the last one, I didn't see them on this tour, but was excited to find this. I think Vancouver's on there, yep. Birmingham, London, Glasgow, Manchester. Dallas, Texas, anyway, that does it for the big show, so. Thanks for watching, and another hockey song here talking about the stick boy. That's what they call a guy on the hockey bench that they have spare sticks, so if a player breaks a stick, he can hand it to him right away, or that's just a handy guy on the bench, but uh, yeah, no book on action, but anyway, thanks for watching, and cheers, VT! Karsten, Prince of Denmark, Olsen. Don't forget slower traffic. Go, go. Keep it up to Ray Ray Cloudy. Punk rock's fun. Bye, Mr. PG.